Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. So in this week's episode, I want to talk to you about getting unstuck. And it's something that I was looking back on when I first moved to the UK. And I struggled to get my business up and going when I first moved here. And what I want to share with you is how when we try to fit in with other people and what we believe other people's or society's expectations are, how it can really get us sort of tied up in knots. Um, well, it got me tied up in knots anyway. And I remember I did everything. I, you know, I did all of the things, the sort of networking things that I knew I had to do. Um, I, I did all of the things around, you know, getting a business started that I've done in the past and that had worked for me in the past. But when I came to the UK, it just, it was not working. It did not happen. Um, I still had a few clients left over from when I moved, but my business basically ground to a halt and it took me a long time to get going. But the reason I'm sharing this is because I think what I was doing was out of alignment with who I actually was and what actually really gives me joy. And, and that was because I thought I had to be a certain way to be accepted here in the UK. Um, and it wasn't anything to do with the UK. It was to do with me and how I perceived people in the UK and what I thought that they would want from me. I thought I had to be more professional, what I consider a professional. <laughs> and I realised as I say all of this that it was completely in my own head. But I got to a stage when I tried everything that I possibly could. I'd, you know, I'd given it my absolute all and nothing was shifting. And I sat back and I kind of went, what am I going to do? You know, what are my options? If I can't get my business up and going, what, you know, I mean, I need to make money to live. What should I be doing? And it was really, really weird because I sat there and I thought to myself, if I go out and get, um, as my father would term it, a proper job, <laughs> I'd feel like a part of me was dying. And as I kind of contemplated this, what I realised was that it didn't really matter to me whether what I, you know, whether I other people accepted me the way I wanted to be, if anyone wanted to buy what I was offering, if, if it didn't matter to me, other than the survival need of actually needing money to survive, I didn't need anyone's approval for sharing and doing what I do. And that's when I started doing these YouTube videos and podcasts and creating my own courses, because I decided that I just wanted to do what I love, irrespective of if anyone wanted to actually take it or listen to it or whatever. And the reason I'm sharing this is because if you find that you are stuck in your life, if you've tried everything the conventional way of, and it doesn't matter, I mean, I'm talking in a business way, but um, it could be relationships, it could be health, it could be any area of your life. If you find that you've tried everything that you think that you should be able to try and you, you just nothing is shifting, take a step back and ask yourself, what is it that you really enjoy? So, in, I mean, in regards to business, I, I, I just, I love and I'm fascinated and just endlessly intrigued by how we work as humans. You know, what is it that makes us behave the way we behave? How can we, what do we need to do to be able to behave or to get life to work with us? I just don't believe that life should be this hard. <laughs> I believe that there's ease and joy and bliss in life. And I've always wanted to know how do you tap into that on a permanent basis? And that's what I want to share. I want to share with people what I've learned. Um, I don't need anyone to listen to it. Um, I'm very happy if you do want to listen to it. <laughs> but I do it because it gives me joy, because I have this sort of almost overflowing feeling of everything that I sort of read and learn about and, you know, ponder about and the thought experiments I do. And it just feels like it wants to be shared. And the same goes with health. So, um, and I'm just sort of sharing this so that you can see how what I'm talking about fits into different areas. So in regards to health, you might have tried numerous diets, you might be doing all the exercise that you think everybody, you know, you read up on it and everyone says, oh, you need to do so many days of exercise for so many hours at such an intensity and you need to walk so many steps a day and you need to da 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 da. And it can be really overwhelming all the things that you think you should do. And what I'm saying is take a step back. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, what do you love? Because I love walking. I love walking out in the countryside. 
I actually quite like yoga as well, although sometimes I have to make myself do it, but that's a whole other thing. But I do love it and I love how I feel when I do it. And I love how good food makes me feel. And I know that my triggers are when I feel like I have to force myself to do what other people think I should be doing. And, and that's really what I want this video to be about, this episode to be about, about stepping back and checking in with yourself to see where the joy and the love is in you, in the area of your life that you're stuck in, and then tap into that and start living from there. Because when you live from there, suddenly things start to flow. It, it might not happen immediately. It might happen immediately. Who am I to say it won't? But it might just start as a gentle trickle. Things might start shifting and kind of clicking into place. And eventually momentum will build and it will build and it will build and eventually it'll end up this beautiful rushing torrent and you'll find that there's energy and vitality and life in it. And I think this is what it comes back to is that when we're living life according to what we think other people think we should be doing, which is a bit of a mouthful, we're not truly living from our source, from our truth, from our center, from our souls. And it's about tapping back into what we know deep down inside of us sets us alight be it in our relationships, be it in our health, be it in our finances, our work, whatever area of life it is. It's to tap back into that and to start living from it and not do it to get a result, but do it because it feels damn good to do it. <laughs> um, and that's what I started with this. And now we're on, I think, episode, oh God, it's in the 40s or something like that. And I really do love sharing this stuff with you. And I get so many beautiful messages back from people. I'm sure not everyone who listens to it, it's not their cup of tea and that's absolutely fine. But even if what I share changes or helps one person, then it's it's definitely worth doing for me. Um, I have loads of resources in the show notes below, um, free courses, um, online coaching, online courses, <laughs> um, various um, social media groups and things like that. Um, if you want to access them, just have a nosy in the show notes below and connect with me on there. So much love from me to you and have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.